right, let's make this a lot of fun. All right, people, so I want to talk about a recent clip that has kind of been blowing up. You know, it kind of got decent views, you know, I'll put it on the screen. And it's a, it's a bit interesting clip. So if you didn't know, well, I didn't know as well, but Jerry has a pretty interesting situation if she has V-Skill 2 and her heavy Fua. And I'll put the link in the description where I got this from because my homies Ultimate Vitality and Cayman created this and they kind of went off on it and I somewhat kind of stole it, you know. They're stealing tech. It's natural in the FGC. But the whole concept of it is that you can get a 50-50 with Jury mid-screen provided that you have the resources to do so. So what do you need to do in order to do this 50-50 is you need to have Heavy Fua and Visco 2 stock like I do. So, if you have those stock, you'll be able to get the 50-50 going provided you have the right timing. So, I'm going to just show you what it does. And, you know, if I fail, don't be like in the comments, ah, you failed first time, you suck. Shut up. No, no one wants to listen to you. But this is it. Alright, now that was in front. Let's see if I can switch it up a notch. Damn it. Safe jump. Damn it. Front again. Front again. Much, much, much later. But yeah, okay, I land in front after many long attempts. But yeah, basically this setup, I can hit either the front or behind, or I can get safe jump. So this setup is somewhat good, provided that, you know, you can, your opponent quick rises, or they may uh, not sure what to do in a situation, especially since you whiff a jab in neutral. But, you know, I first found out like a couple days ago and it was pretty interesting, so I wanted to recreate it, and especially in a match, and I did it, and I posted it, and people were like, this is not a 50-50 simple cross-up. No, it is a 50-50, especially with quick rise. By quick rising, you give me the ability to either cross you up or stay in front. And you don't know which one it is, and sometimes even I don't know which one it is, unless I say, yeah, I'm Michael Walker, or not, I didn't. And it's hard to tell from Michael Walker, especially if you're into the match, and if you don't know the setup. So, you'll probably get a, a couple people here and there, but it's a pretty cool setup to learn. And I think the pros are it can mess up people's uh, situation, especially if they try to like EXTP or something and they're like, oh, I went the other side. Now I'm crush countered into stuff which against Jury. And it's also uh, just benefits you as Jury overall because you know it's a mix up. The cons, however, for it is that. It is kind of difficult a bit to execute and it's like really difficult to land because if you mess up a little bit, you'll get that. You'll get janked up, you get EXEP'd or you'll get a uh, heavy mixer or whatever anti -air the character has. Now I know this setup, uh, I believe works differently depending on the character. So obviously you want to go and lab like almost any character has like an anti or DP or something, look at the angle and all that and see how it works. But I know that with Rashid, since he has a heavy mixer that hits both sides, it's really easy to, to train against him because then you kind of time it well. Because if you don't time it well, his heavy mixer will hit you. And if you try to land a front and you love use EX mixer since it's invincible, it'll hit you. So those are two good uh, things to record that way. You can see even get the setup but yeah I probably I literally just use a setup for fun if I do it every now and again on stream by the way if you aren't watching me on live streaming what are you doing come on I live stream we're trying to get that twitch partnership people okay but yeah this setup is overall not bad uh, I'll probably put the pros and cons on screen just to uh, go uh, in general like wrap it up but yeah this setup overall not bad but would I recommend using it all the time? No. 
because it is very strict timing and it's very annoying. It can easily go into other stuff like such as this into a bait or something and you're got in the corner. So yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend the setup as much, but it's just a cool setup. It's really just cool tech. So if anyone has any gripes about it, please feel free to hit me in the comments just saying, just in case you suck, uh, I, want my, I want my money back or something and I'm gonna say, too bad, suffer. But yeah, people, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you learn a little bit something about Jury. You know, hopefully this gets some of you lab rats into the uh, game and figure out some situations with Jury where 50-50s and all that could work. And if you do, you know, feel free to follow me on Twitter and tag me in it. You know, I'm always interested in looking at tech. But yeah, hopefully you guys take care and see you guys later.